queridos, welcome. Happy Friday. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're all happy, healthy, and safe. This is the Layers to Linda segment where I get layers deep. I go off the top, I answer these questions. I may be right, I may be wrong, but let's start the conversation. Send me a message at my email, late night with Linda Rose at gmail.com, or hit me on Instagram or Facebook, late night with Linda Rose, and let me know what you think. This week's question was, why do I think men ghost? It's a good question. Guys, I'm gonna need brothers, guys, fellas, gentlemen, help me. Help me answer this one because I'm, I, there may be something I'm missing. I'm not a man. I don't know. Uh, but let's get into it. Why do I think that men ghost? For one, because they have other side chicks or another relationship. You know what I mean? And they probably saw that what they were having with you was probably going to build into something else. And they were like, ah, you know, I can't really go there. Another reason I think is probably because they're just not that into you. I'm sorry, mamas. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to sound like an asshole. I, I, I send y'all all my love, queen sis. I, listen, I say it with love. He's just not that into you. Have you, you know what? Matter of fact, now that we're talking about it, I think the movie, He's Just Not That Into You, is a perfect example of why men ghost. And one thing that I learned about men is men want to do their dirt. They want to have their cake and eat it too. You know, they want to do what they want to do, but they don't want to deal with the repercussions of a breakup, of a, of, of a end, ending of whatever relationship that is. They don't want to deal with that. So they rather ghost. But guys, what you guys don't realize, I'm talking to you gentlemen, what yeah, men, because not all the yeah, gentlemen, sorry, it's true. What I'm telling y'all is you guys have no idea how hurtful that is to some women to just ghost them, to not even explain, like, you're leaving women in the dark. Like, what is it? Now, now she's questioning everything. Her looks, how she is, what she thinks. She's questioning everything. Just keep a real honest conversation. And a lot of times, you keep it super real, she's understanding. Some chicks is crazy. I'm not going to lie. You probably... And, oh, and another reason why they may go is because they peeped that your ass was crazy. You know what I mean? After one day, you want to call the dude a thousand times. You want to show up at his job. You want to show up at his place. All of a sudden, you know his whole life. You stalking his social medias. Like, if you guys just started dating ladies, take it easy. Hello? Relax. Relax. Men move at a slower pace when they're not sure. Understand? Men tend to move quicker or with more certainty when they know what's up. But sometimes they don't know. You can't blame somebody. You can't make somebody be in the same level as you. It take a little work sometimes, and that's okay. Take your fucking time. Hello. You know what I mean? Come on. I, I think if I'm th I'm trying to think outside the box here, I'm not a man, but I would think that he probably saw your ass is crazy. Tracking shit, following shit. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't do our research and find things out. All I'm saying is chill. Chill. Y'all be ladies. Y'all be going overboard. Oh, we can say it. Oh, we can say, because y'all be going overboard sometimes. Relax. Another one is, again, I think hygiene. Don't nobody want somebody that doesn't. I think a lot of men, believe it or not, especially men that want to marry and stuff like that, they look for qualities that they either see in their mother or in a mother figure. Cooking, cleaning. Now, I'm not saying it's our job. Don't kill me. Don't crucify me. I'm just saying, I'm not saying that it's our responsibility because both can do the same. But if he's a man that cooks and cleans and stuff like that, he may want to find somebody similar. And let's be real, a lot of women out there are not there. You may not like to do something. That doesn't mean you can't learn it. Doesn't mean you can't compromise. Doesn't mean you can't, you know what I mean? Um, another reason why he probably peeped that you a gold digger, a choppy, a choppy other one. He probably peeped game, you know, and he was like, I'm not trying to do that. Uh-uh, no, bye, uh-uh, no, no, mm -mm. Uh-uh, no, nope. who told you that? No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. They peep that. Another one is, and I'm not trying to be mean, y'all, and I say this with love. He may realize you may be too much for him right now. You know, he may see that you have kids or a lot of obligations and responsibilities, and there's nothing wrong with that. Don't ever think for a second there's something wrong with it. Let him walk away. Let him ghost. If a man cannot handle you with everything that comes with you, let him go. 
this is one of those things that he that if they that he goes to you for that, let him go. Um, another one is to me. I think. Hmm. Oh, you're probably the jealous type. Jealous to a fault. You know what I mean? Guys, I think, I think, and guys, correct me if I'm wrong. I think a lot of guys don't like to be claimed unless they say, like, that's my, that's my lady. And they don't like, I mean, I think a little bit jealousy is, is you know, cute, sexy, but I think overboard. Like, on, like, yo, ladies, for real, if you guys are going out to dinner and he's talking to the waitress like he's having a conversation and he's being polite let him rock what's the problem i i want to see how he interacts with other women now flirting in front of you and not period flirting with other chicks that's the problem but if he's having a conversation relax relax he's just talking and this is my thing you think that because you stopped him from talking to the waitress that that's going to stop him from talking to somebody else when you're not around. Get the fuck out of here. Pero venga acá. Venga acá. Mi amor. Despiértate. People are human. Somos humanos. Like, people want to interact, especially during this time, these times where there's there, there's been like less and less interaction, especially in person with everything that's happening. Are you really going to get on somebody for being polite? And honestly, it kind of, to me, to me, correct me if I'm wrong, to me, that's low-key shows a lot of insecurity. And men don't like insecure insecure women. I, women don't like insecure men. Men don't like insecure women. To me, that shows insecurity. It's just conversation. What do you want them to do? Look down at the men the whole time? When I talk to people, I like to look at them in the eye. It doesn't matter who it is or what level it is. And you want to make sure that he does the same. So fall back a little bit. Um, he probably goes to you too because you thought you was his girl right after the first date. Until you guys have a conversation that you're exclusive, you're not exclusive. He probably goes to you because he smashed already. He already hit it. He what he got, he got what he wanted. Now, there are some relationships, I'm not, there's some relationships where people have sex, you know, soon into dating and they're together for 40 years. But there are a lot of, there's a lot of relationships that once they get what they want, they keep it pushing. He probably already smashed. And don't feel bad about it. I mean, you guys both agreed. You guys had a good time. It is what it is. It's just you thought there was a different ending than he thought. You guys were on different pages. You know what I'm saying? Does that mean he used you for sex? Not necessarily. I mean, y'all used each other. It's just that you wanted one thing. He wanted something else. That's why I think it's important that... I'm not saying that you have to be concrete about what you want when you're going on dates. But you want to, you know, you want to make it clear, you know, your intention somehow. Like, if... Listen, men... I've learned that men are pretty clear about shit a lot of times, too. If he tells you all he wants is friendship, baby, all he wants is friendship right now. Can he change his mind? Yes, but that's on his time. He's telling you that right now, during this time, I just want a homie, a friend or whatever. You got to listen to these things. You know what I mean? And and the thing is like, and, and listen, you can change a man's mind, but that comes in time. Because a lot of guys, a guy's not going to say that's it right there. If he doesn't know yet, it takes time. And, and, and if he's telling you, I want to take my time, he dead ass wants to take his time. Oh, he probably ghosted you probably because he met your family and maybe like mom's is kind of crazy and shit. He was like, I can't deal with that or whatever the case. That There's so many reasons why guys ghost. I don't know. I feel like I, I may not be right on a lot of these things. That's why I need the help from my guys, my fellas, my brothers. Help me. Help me. <laughs> why, why do men ghost? These are the reasons I think that men ghost, but there may be other reasons. You know what I mean? I'm not a man. I don't know. I'm just going off top. <laughs> so with that being said, that's the end of this segment. Fellas, hit me. Let me know what you think. Girls, ladies, let me know your thoughts about why you think. Why, Ladies, why do you think men ghost? Did I miss something? Tell me. School me. You know, I'm humble. I, I don't know everything. I know a lot of shit. 
but I don't know everything. <laughs> Other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I hope you're happy, healthy, and safe. Let me know what you're doing, where you're going. But until then, I'll see you at sunset.